Hi everyone, in this video we will demonstrate how to install CPART PS2 on a part turn actuator. So we will do mechanical installation, then we will provide CPART PS2 with pneumatic and electrical signal. After that we will do initialization in order to put CPART PS2 in service. So let's go. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Now we will start mechanical installation. So we need a part turn actuator mounting kit for part turn actuator in addition to rectangular CPART PS2 electro-pneumatic positioner. Mechanical installation will be as the following. We mount the suitable console on CPART PS2. Now, push the coupling wheel on the positioner shift and tighten it very well. Then we will place the CPART PS2 unit on the part turn actuator. After that, we will mount pneumatic connections. Now we will provide the part PS2 with electrical and auxiliary pneumatic supply. Now we are presented with LCD and the three buttons, hand button, down and up buttons. 
I always prefer to do a quick test before initialization. So I go up and down. Now, and in order to access the menu, hold on the hand button for 5 seconds. In this parameter, we will determine whether it's on a linear valve or a rotary valve. Currently, we have it on a part term actuator, so we are just going to use plus and minus buttons to scroll throughout the options. This is a part term actuator, so we are setting on turn. This next option is used to determine the sensitivity of the positioner for all 90 degree quarter turn applications. We want to set this to 90 degrees. Press the hand button again and we come to the initialization. Hold on the plus button and the initialization will begin. This is a common error that you will come across during run 2. Actually the positioner needs to know what sort of actuator it's on and we do this by adjusting the fraction clutch. We can adjust the clutch by rotating the black wheel until zero move to the center and the position reading between 5 and 10. Now we press the plus button to continue throughout commission. Run 3 is for determination and display of positioning time. Run 4 is for determination of minimum increment length. RAM 5 for optimization of transient response. It will take a few minutes to go throughout each of the rounds.
Once all five runs have been complete, you will be presented with this screen. Press the hand button to exit out of commissioning and back into the menu. Then hold down the hand button for 5 seconds and it will exit. Now we put the part PS2 in an auto mode and start sending false value from Fluke Calibrator. The part PS2 is ready for service now. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.